pulls. Look oh, these dang it. Look at these rocks right here. We can poke these rocks. So one chilly Sunday morning, our awesome friend Leroy rented a pontoon boat for us and at Lake Kachuma. We went out looking for trout and crappie and bass. It was a nice day and we had a very relaxing time. Hooks are sharp. Give, give your dad that one. Just grab it right here by that thing. Because those hooks just are... tie it on the end. Yeah, just tie it straight on. Do you have a swivel? Uh, yeah. Anywhere. What are these called, Leroy? Flicker shad. Flicker shad. Yep. Pink flicker shad. Get this onto the split ring. Click that closed, and we're ready to go. Should I just drop it out the back or the left side here? Yeah, you want to run it back about 50, uh, about 50 yards. Okay. Keep it on. Four-pound model. It's like 700-pound head. Okay, which I don't, don't want to run the propeller through it. I don't want to see if the end of that blue line. Well, it could be somebody snagged. That's, that's, yeah. Is it coming in? Yeah. You lost yours. Then you get one back. Yeah. There you go. There's a nice lure. Look at that. Look at that. Nice crankbait. Nice little crankbait. It looks new, too. Yeah. That's definitely, a, that, that cost a lot more than the one we lost. That's yours. Throw it in your tackle box. Awesome. Well, but then again, I lost yours, so. <laughs> oh, I ain't worried about it. Those things are cute. Hey, guys. So, I was reeling in, and I thought I felt a tug. Didn't feel like a fish, so I handed it off to Leroy, and he got it unstuck, and there wasn't a fish on it, but we found this. It's a $9 bluegill lure. Almost brand brand new. Hopefully we can use this to catch some stripers back in the bay or somewhere else in the fresh water. Okay, don't, don't hurt them in. It's a, it's a trout, Take maybe a bass. Take it easy. Yeah. Don't Side, put it sideways, yeah. Keep that tight. Okay, I'm feeling something. Oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. There it is. Bring it over, bring it over. It's a crappie. Bring it over closer. Crappie! Over here. I can't. Okay, put it on the boat. There you go. Wow, look at that net job. That Got it. Job. Behind the back, in the face, around the corner. Awesome, this is a keeper, right? Oh yeah, I think so. Crappy after hours of trying, this guy's a keeper, so <laughs> he's going on the pan. That's a good size. Oh yeah. That's, uh, that's a yeah, it's not a monster, but So, if you're gonna, if you're going to uh, cook the fish whole, you got drink. If you're gonna cook the fish whole. Yeah. 
right? And like the size of this, it could be it's a nice pan size fish, right? Yeah, it's a good Okay. Try it. So you can take the scales off, right? You know, if you want to scale it, right? You can yeah. take the scales off. Well, let me show you a trick. So you don't want all these spines in there, right? If you're gonna cook the fish whole. Yeah. Right? So you cut right there. I don't think we're gonna cook the fish whole. Oh, that's okay. We can still flay it. Oh, okay. And then you cut this side, right? Because these these fins are sharp, and you don't want to you don't want to cut yourself or get. But fins. won't the scales get into the meat? Well, yeah. If you're gonna, you wash it. Well, you don't. No, you never wash it. I'll show you a trick. Okay, so I'm gonna cook this fish whole because I just want to pan fry it, and it's gonna be good. And I'm gonna take the scales off first, right? Yeah. Oh, the butt's kind of open. So, check this out. See? Yeah. Grab the fins right here. Whoa. And it takes the fins out right here. See that? And all the bones come out with it. Wow. Did you see that? see that? Did you see that? You pulled the backbone out? No. Yeah, yeah so I guess sort of. You go like this, you cut on either side, and then you come from the other direction. And you grab it. The bottom side's a little tougher. Yeah, I can see that. But when you pull it out, it pulls all the fins out. And really the, convenient then. And the fin bones. Watch out. I'm gonna get you. Does it take out any of the meat? A nope. tiny bit. See, there's the fin bones. See, those are all bones right in there. Okay, that's nice. Okay, Still that's alive. if you're gonna. That's if you're gonna clean it. If that's if you're gonna cook it whole. Mm. And you don't have any of those spines to worry about. So Leroy did a beautiful flaying, skinning, and cleaning job of my crappie for us. We ended up coating it with some wonderful spices, wrote it in panko, and my mom deep fried it. It was delicious. This is me, Fisher, saying thanks for watching, and see you next time.